during the first part of the 20th century, astronomers do not believe that we have other planetary systems in the Milky Way. The, the idea has changed in the middle of the last century. But we do not, at the time, the good techniques to discover. And suddenly, uh, with the spectroscopy, the Doppler spectroscopy, we have shown that it's possible to detect planets. The first one immediately changed the, the countryside, and you see that the number immediately after, uh, in the following years, a lot, a lot of new object was discovered. So this, I mean, this is a very, a, a very important moment in this story. At the present time, something like a dozen of planets are in the habitable zone of the star. But in all the, in all the cases, this corresponds to very low mass planet. So with uh, the habitable zone very close to the star. So I'm not completely sure this is what we need. So you have presently a lot of excitation about Trappist-1. You have two or three planets in the habitable zone. You have uh, Proxima du Centaur, Centaur, and so on, and so on, so on. But always it's very close. So, personally, I'm looking for planet in the habitable zone a little bit further to, uh, to have a vote, to have flux of high energy particles, and so on. So, I don't know what is the best, uh, is the future one. The next decade, I'm sure, this will be um, the most important moment for the analysis of the chemistry of atmosphere. With big telescope, 39 meters telescope in Chile, also James Webb telescope. So when you are doing what is called transit spectroscopy, you have access to the chemical composition, limited, okay, of the atmosphere, planetary atmosphere. So this, for me, this is the hottest topic for the next decade.